Hey guys, it's The Rich Life. We're your hosts, Michaela And Aaron. And today we're gonna to be talking about the rich life of Joey King. But before we do that, don't forget to click like and subscribe for your daily dose of celebrity content. Now let's get to it. Joey King was born on July 30th, 1999 to her parents, Jamie and Terry. Her father, Terry, has been an arm wrestling champion and was a consultant in the capacity for Sylvester Stallone. She has two older sisters who are actresses named Kelly King and Hunter King. My older sisters were in acting and of course, I wanted to be just like them. She's also stated that she's a part part Jewish and part Christian, but mostly Jewish. Joey King started acting professionally when she was just four years old. A national spot for Life Cereal was Joey's first commercial. Since then, she's completed over 104 commercials, including national campaigns for Eggo, Walmart, AT&T, and McDonald's. It's been said that Joey inherited the love of acting from her grandmother, who used to perform live theater. She's appeared in several television shows and movies like CSI, Crime Scene Investigation in 2000, Entourage in 2004, Medium in 2005, R.L. Stein's The Haunting Hour in 2010, and Avengers Angel, just to name a few. She's also completed three pilots and was a series regular on the short-lived show Bent, where she said Jeffrey Tambor made her laugh every day. Joey voiced the yellow furball Katie for the animated feature Horton Hears a Who in 2008 and Beaver for Ice Age 3D. She's also voiced the lead character Jesse in the book series movie adaptation of The Boxcar Children and lastly the voice of China Girl in the much anticipated Oz and the Great and Powerful in 2013. Joey said, I think it's really neat to hear my voice come out of an animal or creature that someone made from their imagination. Her first first film, Grace, in 2006, was shot when she was just six years old. On the first day of filming, Joey had to pretend to almost drown in the ice cold ocean. Joey has said she was completely hooked on making movies after that. Joey was nine years old when she landed her first role in the feature of Ramona and Beezus in 2010. She and her sister Kelly wrote a song called Ramona Blue when they heard Joey booked the movie Ramona and Beezus. When Joey then recorded the song, she had all the proceeds going to the charity First Book. Joey played Ramona, whose character always seems to be in some sort of mischief. Joey has said that the role changed her life and she will always be grateful for the two of the most amazing talented women, Liz Allen and Denise Denovi, who are still good friends of Joey's. She also became great friends with Selena Gomez while filming Ramona and Beezus. They became so close that Joey says Selena is her sister in real life too. In her short years, Joey has worked with some very prestigious directors, like Christopher Nolan, who Joey describes as super involved in every detail, including being present when Joey shaved her hair off for the role in The Dark Knight Rises in 2012. Sam Raimi, who captured Joey's heart with his gentle and patient demeanor and brilliant vision while working on Oz the Great and Powerful. And Roland Emmerich, who Joey has said is such a gifted director, who I was lucky to get to work for and will be my friend for life, while filming the action movie White House Down in 2013. For Battle Los Angeles, which was released in 2011, she got to wear a full body harness. For the stunt that she was repelled down a 40 foot drop with a free fall for the last 10 feet. Joey has spoken to many schools and boys and girls clubs on the importance of making a positive difference in the world, even if you are young. She attends and contributes to many charities, and you can often find her helping her grandmother deliver food to the elderly through Meals on Wheels. Joey's performances have earned her outstanding critical reviews from such critics as Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times and Amy Biancoli of the San Francisco Chronicle. Joey has said she feels like the luckiest person in the world to be able to do what she loves and be surrounded by people she loves. She also received a pet pig from Jay Leno that she named JJ during an appearance on The Tonight Show for her 11th birthday in 2010. And fun fact, Spider-Man is her favorite fictional superhero and she's seen all the Spider-Man movies. But despite Spider-Man being her favorite superhero, her favorite movie is Finding Nemo, which I'm sure everyone knows and it was released in 2003. She shaved her head a number of four times and here are just a few movies she did it for. The Dark Knight Rises, Wish I Was Here, and The Act. The plot of The Act is based on the real life story of Gypsy Rose Blanchard. So basically, there was this girl named Gypsy. She lived with her mom named Dee Dee. Dee Dee made sure she had full control over everything Gypsy did. She didn't want Gypsy leaving the house. She didn't want Gypsy talking to people, not even her own father. She eventually convinced Gypsy that Gypsy had multiple illnesses and that she was incapable of doing anything without her mother Dee Dee. She even had Gypsy going to doctors offices and telling Gypsy to tell the doctors how she was feeling even though it wasn't true. She lied to Gypsy about her age, she lied to Gypsy about being able to walk and being able to eat. When Gypsy finally grew up, she started to take the chances of eating and walking and she knew she was completely fine. She then went online, met up with a guy on a Christian singles app and they had a relationship. Though her mom was totally against it, Gypsy would still sneak onto her laptop and message this guy every single day. It came to a point when Gypsy wanted to be with him as he was the love of her life and they both set up a plot to murder Dee Dee. They went through with it and they ended up going to jail. Although a lot of people feel like Gypsy really had no choice in escaping her mom Dee Dee and they really want her out of jail. There's a whole bunch of stuff online about Gypsy Rose Blanchard. You should definitely check it out. Aside from that, Joey has also expressed who she favors in the industry. She said, I love Jessica Chastain. I love her. She's amazing and she's a good actress and she's been nominated for Oscars and she's just a big role model to me. I love her. Now I know we talked all about what she's most known for and the main stuff she's been in, but now I'm going to talk about where I know her from. I know her 
from the Kissing Booth movie series and the drama thriller movie The Lie. The Kissing Booth is about when Elle Evans, Joey King, a pretty late bloomer who has never been kissed, decides to run a kissing booth at her high school spring carnival. She unexpectedly finds herself locking lips with her secret crush, the ultimate bad boy Noah Flynn. Sparks fly, but there's one little problem. Noah just happens to be the brother of her best friend Lee, Joel Courtney, and is absolutely off limits according to the rules of their friendship pact. Like rule number nine, relatives are totally off limits. Elle's life is turned upside down when she realizes that she must ultimately make a choice, follow the rules or follow her heart. This movie was released in 2018 and followed The Kissing Booth 2 in 2020 and then The Kissing Booth 3 in 2021. The movies were originally followed by mostly positive reviews, however, following a few years after, people looked back and said they finally realized how bad the movie really is. Her movie The Lie is about two girls named Kayla, Joey King, and Brittany who are friends. But Kayla kills Brittany over an argument, seemingly about a boy. Kayla's divorced parents try to hide the murder and pin the disappearance of Brittany on her father. Brittany's mother tries to pull some strings while Kayla makes up further lies and presents them to the authorities. It all backfires as the investigation leads back to Kayla's inhaler at the bridge, which Kayla's family claims they've never been to. In desperation, Kayla's parents try to plant evidence that incriminates Brittany's father, but he catches them in the act. In a fit of the moment, Kayla's mother drives over and kills Brittany's father. Their frantic efforts to protect their daughter turn counterproductive when they realize that Brittany and Kayla were only lying about the murder in the first place so Brittany could go away with a secret boyfriend for the weekend. As a family, they embrace each other coming to terms with how screwed they are when they hear signs indicating arrest. Now, I personally think that out of all Joey King's movies that this thriller is her best work and a great movie if you get a chance to watch it. Joey King has won People's Choice Award for the Comedy Movie Star of the Year in 2020 and the Kids' Choice Award Favorite Movie Actress in 2019. Now, we're gonna talk about her real relationship. The Kissing Booth co-star turned their on-screen romance into a real one back in 2017. It wasn't quite love at first sight, but King told Bella Magazine that there was definitely a vibe from day one. King and Elordi dated for a couple of years, but by early 2019, it became apparent that they weren't seeing each other anymore. In an interview with Refinery29, King admitted that the intense attention from the fans trying to figure out if she and Elordi had broken up made things worse. Shortly after her breakup with Elordi, King began seeing Steven Piet, whom she met while working on the act. Piet was the producer on the Emmy-nominated miniseries, which starred King as Gypsy Rose Blanchard. According to E! News, the two were spotted cozying up during the screening of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets in September 20. 2019 while on a triple date with King's sister and their dates. On March 1st, the couple announced their engagement, which took place on February 2nd via Instagram. I never knew happiness could be so powerful that it can take the air from your lungs, overwhelming every part of you that you can't help but feel your eyes well from the undeniable joy, King wrote in her post. And that was The Rich Life on Joey King. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite movie is. And I have a question. Do you think girls over the age of like 25 should be watching The Kissing Booth? Because I know a few that are obsessed with it and I just think it's weird. Yeah, I kind of agree. But let us know. We're your host, Erin. And I'm Michaela. And we'll be seeing you soon.